Hey everyone, welcome to Higan Iruthil and just to be clear, this is not the next uh, character hero coming after Sheru. So I just have information for your Fairy Abyssal Stars skill preview and if you guys want to know what it is and if you could probably plan ahead then I'm going to discuss it right now. Um, just make sure that um, you don't expect that what I'm going to be discussing is going to be the skill that she's going to be getting. This data was avail available during soft launch. So take this with a grain of salt if you want to see her mechanic. It's quite it's quite unique, actually. So you might you might want to you know you, you might be interested in uh, saving up for her uh, again. She this is not a you know a teaser that she's coming out, out after Sheru. so without further ado let us uh, go over what she has at least guys you have an idea of uh, how um how she's going to be useful in the game and how you're gonna be slotting her in your lineup okay so we have here her passive again this information is taken from soft launch this might be you know this the information might be outdated uh, skills might be changed but for now more or less we're, since soft launch there has been little or no change to some characters so again this mechanic is going to be new um, I haven't played her really I was able to get her by the way um, I, th I think it was CBT or the, the the last CBT or soft launch. I forgot. But more or less, she is going to be part of the game. So again, we have a passive here, a buff. Her mechanic is quite weird. So Euphoria Abyssal Star. This is the enhanced version of Euphoria. Can't use self-card. Increase her ultimate energy recharge by 18%. For the duration, every skill card being discarded. Okay, take note. She has a, mecha uh, a mechanic wherein she can discard a current card. Okay, will increase the efficiency of adding one stack of unyielding effect for Umbra characters by 10%. Max three stacks, which is roughly around 30%. So she will give this buff. Ideally, she's going to be an Umbra in an Umbra team. Okay, so next up. Again, the discard mechanic, I've gone over to the game right now. Um, so far, I don't see a discard card mechanic, even with our regular heroes or characters that we're using. If I'm wrong, guys, please um, correct me. Please put it down in the comment section if there is any, a current discard mechanic in the game. If not, she will be bringing it to the game with her. So moving on to her active skill. So, deals melee damage equal to 585 AP to all enemies within a rectangular indicator. If discarding one card or self card in the next queue, then this skill will deal an additional uh, M da damage equal to 30% AP. So, this card, you won't use a card, I think a card of hers. The discard mechanic doesn't work, I think, for everyone. So it it's going to be a card being discarded by her, her own card basically. So hopefully it will be cleared out once she comes out. But I'm really curious because the discarding the discarding um, mechanic has trade-offs. Trade-offs in terms of uh, not you know putting in queue a certain card but getting a reward or buffs after that so this is her active skill next up this is her ultimate it's a debuff and it's an interrupt so fires multiple magic beams interrupting all enemies in a rectangular area from using their skill and dealing melee damage equal to 1090 AP Upon discarding one skill in your hand or in the next queue, also inflicts hollow on the on the enemy's hit for seven seconds. So again, this implies that this is a big damage plus a debuff. 
Okay, so with that said, I'm asking you guys, would you be saving up for her? As you can see, she is a caster. Again, Umbra. Burst damage, AoE damage. So, if I may compare, she's like Fen. AoE damage dealer, but for Umbra. And that is it. Um, in this chart, she's a support consistent burst in attack. So, all out pure damage for her. Although, she has debuffs and buffs in her kit. Again, she will be part of your Umbra team should you decide, I think, to get her. And what do you think of her kit, guys? Again, this take this with a grain of salt. Um, this is not final. These are the skill preview that she has in the per in the previous, you know, either CBT or or um, soft launch. So basically, guys, um, you have this information. Try to prepare whether you're gonna be, you're gonna be considering her in your in your team. Again, she's Umbra. She's nice to have. You can pair her with Gildan. You can pair her with. Um, El Eluia. Who else? You can actually add another one at the back. Probably a healer. I, I don't know if we have a healer. An Umbra healer at this point. But again, um, this is her kit. So hopefully we can build, you know, theme kits in the future with specific elements. I'm excited to do that already. So what do you think, guys? Comment in the comment section. Take care, stay safe. This is The Warden, and I'm out of here.